Chapter 3 Weather and Climate Get Set Circle the features that in your knowledge affect the weather of a place. Sun Clouds Tree cover Roads Birds Weather Weather is the state of the atmosphere at any given period of time. The atmosphere is made up of gases like oxygen that surrounds the earth. What is happening in the atmosphere is the weather. The weather affects us in many ways. Day-to-day -day changes in weather can influence how we feel and the way we look at the world. What makes weather? There are six main components or parts of weather. They are temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation and cloudiness. Together, these components describe the weather at any given time. These changing components, along with the knowledge of atmospheric processes, help meteorologists and scientists who study weather forecast, that is, what the weather will be in the near future. Climate Over many years, certain conditions become familiar, whether in an area. The average weather in a specific region as well as its variations and extremes over many years is called climate. Climate change is just like weather. However, climate change can take hundreds or even thousands of years. Today, the Sahara Desert in Northern Africa is the largest desert in the world. However, several thousand years ago, the climate in the Sahara was quite different. The Screen Sahara experienced frequent rainy weather. Factors affecting the climate Latitude or distance from the equator It depends on how close or how far it is to the equator. This is the most important factor and it is based on the concentration of sunlight and the area that it affects. The sun heats up the atmosphere and the earth, but since the earth is round, it hits different parts at different times of the day and the year. It also hits at different angles. Areas around the equator get more direct sunlight and are warmer. Areas around the poles get indirect or angled sunlight, so they are colder. Altitude above the sea level The altitude or height of a place affects its temperature and air pressure. The air at the sea level is dense so it absorbs more heat from the sunlight, while the air at higher places is thin, so it absorbs less heat. Therefore, mountains are cooler than plains. For example, Rajasthan is hot, but Mount Abu in this state is colder because it is located at a high altitude. Similarly, hill stations like Srinagar and Darjeeling are colder than places like Delhi and Chennai. Distance from the sea. Land heats up and cools down quickly. On the other hand, water takes time to heat and cool. So the land and coastal areas heats up during the day and cools down at night quickly. In comparison, the sea water takes time to heat up in the day, but it stays warm for long at night also. This heats up or cools down the air. The hot air is light, so it rises up. It creates a low-pressure area. When the land heats up quickly during the day, the air over it becomes warm and rises up. To fill this gap, the air rushes from the sea, which is still cool. This trend reverses at night. The air over the sea is hot, so it rises, creating low-pressure area. So the air from the land rushes to the sea area. This phenomena results in winds in the coastal areas. These winds are called breezes. These winds from the sea and the land are called sea breezes and land breezes, respectively. If you go near the sea coast, you will find the wind blowing all the time. The tides occur in the sea owing to these breezes. These breezes moderate the climate near the sea. This is the reason that Kolkata, Chennai and Mumbai have a moderate climate because they are located near the sea coast. The places located away from the sea have no such effect, so they have an extreme climate. So Delhi and Chandigarh have an extreme climate. 
Extreme climate means that it is either too cold or too hot there. Chirpy says, when the air moves over a water body, it picks up some moisture, water. The amount of moisture present in the air is called humidity. The monsoon winds bring rain to India as they have come from over the Indian Ocean. Direction of winds If the wind blows from a cold place, it cools. And when it blows from a hot place, it heats. Similarly, the wind coming from the sea is moist and brings rainfall. On the other hand, the wind from a dry area dries the area. This is the reason that Lu, which blows from dry and warm areas, dries and heats up the northern plains of our country. The monsoon winds blow from the sea and brings rainfall. Location of Mountain Ranges The mountain range at a place too influences the climate of a place. Icy winds blow in Central Asia, but the Himalayas do not allow them to cross over to India. So, India is not as cold as Tibbat. On the other hand, the Himalayas check the monsoon winds from going over to Central Asia and this brings rainfall to India. Climatic Zones You have read in this book that there are three heat zones of the world. They are also called the Climatic Zones as they determine the climate of the world. Torrid Zone The very hot zone is called Torrid Zone. This area receives direct sunlight from the sun, so it remains hot throughout the year. Frigid Zone The very cold zone is called Frigid Zone. There are two Frigid Zones called North Frigid Zone and South Frigid Zone. As sunlight is very slanting here, the area remains almost frozen throughout the year. Temperate Zone The moderate zone is called Temperate Zone. There are two temperate zones called North Temperate Zone and South Temperate Zone. This area is neither too hot nor too cold as the sunlight is slightly slanting in this area. Weather Forecast If we know the coming weather, we can get ready for this. For example, if you know that it will rain today, you can carry a raincoat. Predicting the weather is called Weather Forecast. It is carried by almost all newspapers and news channels. Chirpy says, The science of weather forecasting is called meteorology. And the people who do this are called meteorologists. Some people call them weathermen. There is a meteorological department in each district. It forecasts the weather for the next few days. A weather forecast is made with the help of satellites. It includes... Such information as climate, temperature, speed of wind, cloudy or sunny, humidity, etc. Think a while. What type of preparation will you make for school if the weather forecast has announced heavy rain today? Quick Review Weather is the state of the atmosphere at any given period of time. Day-to-day -day changes in weather can influence how we feel and the way we look at the world. Temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity, precipitation and cloudiness are the six main components of weather. The average weather in a specific region is called climate. Areas around the equator get more direct sunlight and are warmer. The altitude or height of a place affects its temperature and air pressure. The places located away from the sea have an extreme climate.